So in Jailbreak, there are a lot of robberies now. I believe there are like 13 or maybe even 14 robberies in Jailbreak now, not including the trains, I think. I'm not sure, but I think there's around 13 or 14, but that's a lot of robberies either way. But anyways, when there's a lot of robberies, there are a few robberies that end up being pretty bad compared to others. So that's why I'm making this video so that you guys can know which robberies are the worst so that you don't go close to them and you don't waste your time robbing them because uh, yeah some of these robberies take a long time to rob and don't give a good reward so yeah that's why i'm making this video so you guys don't waste your time with these useless robberies but anyways let's not waste any more time and let's get into this so first up here we have the trains and you might be thinking super why are these robberies one of the worst well it's pretty easy to explain so i'll just wait until it spawns in and i'll show you okay the train is here okay so what i recommend doing to get on first is getting on the wood or the blue carts they they're both the same they they're probably the best carts for getting on to be honest but once you're on you want to go to these red carts you want to open the door and then you want to breach the vault quickly you can do it from up here too and then once you come down here and yes you'll see that it only gives three thousand five hundred dollars and you might be thinking super that's a pretty good pay if you're robbing it in a private server and in a pro in a public server too it, it's a pretty good pay but that also depends on what players are in your public server. If there are a bunch of try-hard cops, the, the, the train here is going to be a really hard robbery because when a cop sees that the door on the top is open, they immediately head for the robbery because I, I'm, I'm a try-hard cop. I'm going to admit it. I like arresting everyone in the server. And whenever I see that this door is open, I always head for it. So that's how I know. But... It's a pretty big target when the door is open because then the cops think there is someone in here and if they don't then they still check because, you know, why not? But yeah, if there's a bunch of try-hard cops in your server, this pay isn't really good because, you know, it's kind of risky robbing this when you're in a try- uh, like a try-hard filled server. Uh, like, we've all been in a server filled of try-hard uh, try cops. like. It's really, really annoying deal with, dealing with try-hard cops in like a, a super closed up space like the train. And since that train cart is just a small little red cart, it's really hard to get rid of the cops when they come in here. Like, once they're in the cart, you're kind of, kind of done. And this is all the same for the passenger train too. And it comes less frequently as well. It only comes during the rain and the night. And it's really hard to get on for some reason. I've been struggling with this ever since it came out in like january of 2019 like it's just it's even harder than the cargo train and it it rewards only 3,000 cash and it also comes less frequently so this is an even worse example of the cargo train it's just horrible and i think my admin commands actually broke the train but whatever and uh, yeah it's uh, same as the cargo train once the cops see that the top is broken they'll head straight for it so it's a big target once you start a robbery just like the other train so it's it's it, it, it don't get me wrong it's fun in like a private server robbing it with a few friends every once in a while but other than that it's kind of a garbage robbery like it the only rewards 3,000 cash. It's really hard to get on to and it's like and The only time it would be useful is for like a train robbery Roleplay thing for like a jailbreak movie or something. That's the only time I would find it useful. But other than that Yeah, kind of it, it's a garbage robbery to be honest and I'm gonna be honest I'm surprised that how bad these robberies are like I thought that a Simo bad CC would make them give at least 5,000 cash or something because like they're pretty hard in public servers but for, like how much they reward right now is absolutely garbage and it's just a waste of time at this point like they're really cool robberies but when it gets to the point where the cash amount is literally a waste of time yeah that's not good but anyways that's the trains now let's go on to the other robberies now believe it or not next up here is the bank now let me explain because it's kind of complicated in a way so 
most of the time when you rob the bank, you get one of these vaults here. I believe this underwater vault is actually the most common one. I'm not sure though, but anyways, this vault only gives 3,500 cash and most of the vaults only give 3,000 cash or maybe 4,500 cash at most. I believe that's pretty much the cap for the a majority of the robberies. The only time where you get a lot of money from the bank is if you get the corridor vault or the like the presidential vault. The corridor vault gives you 5,000 cash and then the presidential vault gives you 7,500 cash with no VIP pass. It gives you 9,000 with all the passes. So it's th those vaults are the good ones. And those vaults are pretty rare. Like the last time I've seen the presidential vault is maybe like one or two months ago like it's rare but anyway since you're only getting these like trash vaults all the time the bank never really rewards you with with much and uh, since most of these vaults are really hard to defend it's uh, the reward isn't really worth it making the bank probably one of the most like not worth it robberies in the game and the underwater vault is definitely the best example of that don't get me wrong, the bank is fun to rob every once in a while, but for the amount of cash it gives, it's probably not worth your time. But anyways, next up here is the power plant, and I already explained this in a previous video, so I'll leave a link to that video in the description. So if you want to learn more, you could go ahead and check that video out. It's linked in the description below. And if it's not there, I probably forgot, so just go check out my channel. It's probably there under the Roblox Jailbreak playlist tab, so you could go check it out there. But if you don't have time to do that, I'll just quickly explain it that since the power plant has been moved, there are now more obstacles in your way, basically reducing the amount of cash you get once you turn the money in. But as I said already, if you want to learn more, you could go ahead and check that video out. It will be linked in the description. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you've enjoyed it or you found it helpful in some sort of way, please consider leaving a like and maybe even a subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video and I'll see you guys all in the next